Um, the idea came that the children should do a play about the white lions. I had seen the performance of the Lion King on stage in Los Angeles um, a couple of years before that. And I was telling them about the marvelous costumes that um, represented the different animals. And the idea for a play about the white lions just evolved out of this very animated and inspired conversation. As the learners from Punjo Primary School, we are here to perform a drama about the white lions of Timbabad. Thank you. The children who wrote the play likened the White Lion's removal from Timbavati and from the wild to Nelson Mandela's imprisonment. This is my country. I will fight for it. I want all the people to be free and equal. I am innocent. I am fighting for my rights. When Nelson Mandela was in Robben Island, our pride as African was taken away. He was our icon of hope. After his arrest, Everything was dark, but we keep on believing that one day we will come back to deliver us from the apartheid government. Okay, children, we will carry on tomorrow. My heart is bleeding when I think about the apartheid government. I feel like crying. Let me go and rest. Grandpa, please, it's over now. It is all over now. We must learn to forgive so that we can live peaceful as brothers and sisters. And when Nelson Mandela was freed in their play, he was the one who came forward and freed Mara, the white lioness, from prison. Recently, they were invited to come and perform for Nelson Mandela in Johannesburg. And as you can imagine, that's an honor. Hardly anyone gets to see Nelson Mandela anymore. And they, most of the children had never been out of Acorn Hook before. It's a very rural um, area far away from any big city. And so the children probably hadn't, some of them had never even ridden on a bus before. So along with their costumes and um, their props and some of the teachers and Daphne, the principal of the school, everybody went to Johannesburg. They were there for a couple of days and amazingly, they were able to perform their play for Nelson Mandela 
um, in his center in Johannesburg, uh, where he came out of seclusion to watch them perform. Great excitement all around. I am a wild lion. Some say I am an albino lion. The truth is, I am born in I am a gift from God. I am an angelic lion. <laughs> When they got to Johannesburg, they spent the night on the floor of the Boy Scout Hall. They were wild with excitement. They were very boisterous and um, uncontainable. And I think um, it's important to realize, for all of us, to realize that for them to perform for Nelson Mandela was an incredible honor. It was arranged by a friend of Linda's. And the honor that comes with something like that is um, truly amazing. We feel that it's not the end of the journey with their lion play by any means, but it has um, the quality of being a major milestone for everybody in their uh, in their growth and development. The children who do the play, the singers who participate, who are part of the play, and everyone who's peripheral to these productions, which are growing in sophistication now. Um, the young man who plays the role of Nelson Mandela in the play, he was wonderful. He did an incredible job, but he absolutely has to be the only person who's ever played Mandela for Mandela. And we're, we're just wondering how this experience is going to change the lives of these children. They have come from a very obscure place. Acorn Hook is back and beyond. It's tucked away and forgotten. And we are um, working there. And we've made a commitment to uplift the whole area. It really needed it. It's a very third world area. South Africa has both first, second, and third world areas. And um, Johannesburg is a first world area. And Acorn Hook is most definitely a rural backwater third world area. Great deal of poverty and lack and and yet it's an amazing place we find it to be an amazing place to work in we're very inspired by what's happening there
And this play, this lion play, is really just one of the things that is coming alive in Acorn Hook. And we are very excited and wondering where it's going to go next. It definitely has a future. When I was going to Johannesburg, I was feeling like I was going to America. <laughs> and when I see Mandela, I feel like I was crying. Then that trip was so good to me. Then I think I, I will go again. <laughs> My name is Meron. When I see Nelson Mandela, I feel like I'm flying and I enjoy the land, the movie. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bongani. When we go to jo Johannesburg, I saw a movie about my I want to uh, uh, movie about. I when to I act, I was a white lion. Then when I meet when I meet Nelson Mandela, it was just like I met America. Yes. Hello, my name is Joyce, and when I go to to Jobek, I was happy and. I enjoy the movie and the dinner and and the trip. And when I saw Mr. Mandela, I was felt like I'm dreaming. But now I am so I am so I am so serious that I saw Mandela. I didn't saw a, a picture of Mandela. I saw Mandela. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Roman. <laughs> From Akonuk taking Sigisi. Even I am joining back, I feel like crying. But Nelson Mandela is very important man. But even I'm going to Johannesburg, I'm seeing Nelson Mandela. My heart is so feel like love. And even I am a golden lion. I am think I am acting in all of my life. I like it. Everything that we are doing at Johannesburg. I love them. Thank you. I'm hoping that two things since I met from Saki. Hello, everybody. My name is Justice. I enjoy everything I saw. And I enjoy to see Mr. Mandela. He was, I was so happy. And I enjoy him. I enjoy the movies, everything I saw. Thank you. Tingala. Tingala.